The most recent update to Phoenix 5 was just released by Kaios, who has been quite busy lately with the updates. For those who don't know what Phoenix is, it is a simulation software that can simulate all forms of liquid, fire and smoke in addition to rigid body and explosion simulations. It also offers some quick presets and a rapid setup process that can help you get started easily. This powerful software and plugin is an all-in-one solution for fluid dynamics in Max and Maya. It is also artist-friendly, and it is built especially for artists who want to create fluid dynamic effects that can be fast to set up and easy to control, which is one of the strongest points, especially in the VFX industry. Anyways, with all we've mentioned so far, I believe we can all agree that Phoenix is a strong and dependent program, but with the recent update, it became much more powerful due to some of the new features and improvements to some existing tools. As the Phoenix developer said, the update brings in features to speed up your workflow and help you get your job done faster, with more creative control where you can create the desired effects quickly and easily. He continues, the Phoenix standalone simulator has also been powered up with support for time bend resimulations and animations. So let us see what these new features are and what the hell they are talking about. The greatest focus was placed on 3ds Max in this update, where it got quicker iterations that will allow you to obtain immediate feedback to fine tune your simulations or explore other results with support for V-Ray CPUs and this is the case when it comes to interactive production rendering. And this will help you save more time to be more creative. Also, a chosen simulator can be bent, racked, tapered, twisted, melted, or stretched using the volume and particle deformers in Max. If you are not a Max user and you think, why the hell this tool is so popular and why it is focused on Max in the first place, the answer is 3ds Max is very popular in the VFX industry and a lot of big studios are still using it and Kaios, the owners of Phoenix, are providing these tools, tools such as Phoenix, to these studios to be able to do their job. So this is the short answer. Now with more features, meanwhile the UI was upgraded and improved and made easier to use and the simulator loading is now much faster. Additionally, you may choose whether you want a volumetric settings window to be pinned, docked, or floated according to your preference. Additionally, the absorption color has been improved by Kaios, allowing you to create fresh and intriguing volumetric effects by altering the color of the light as it passes through the fog. Also, the Phoenix Particle Shader now includes a new phase function parameter that may offer you greater control over the fog mode. This allows you to produce even more lifelike volumetric effects when combining ray trace scattering with the V-Ray CPU. But there is more. Now, before the simulation even begins, you can obtain a precise result through a visual preview of how forces will impact the simulation. And with the push of a button, you can convert now streamlined previews into native Max and Maya splines. Generally speaking, the Phoenix standalone simulator has become much more effective with real-time simulations, support for time bent resimulation, and the ability to create custom start and stop frames for resimulation. Phoenix has been around for a long time now, and it can do a lot of incredible stuff. So if you are interested and you are a Maya or a 3ds Max VFX artist and you want to create cool stuff such as fires, explosions and smokes or anything else that includes liquid simulations, then I think this is a great option that you may think about. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.